Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to make some food, some energy bars, you know, whatever I had. They were published in the, the recipe for the energy bars using peanut butter was published in the 2009 cookbook, I believe it was called. Uh, Bush Craft USA cookbook. So I want to change it up. I'm on a paleo diet, so this is what I'm using. This is almond butter as opposed to peanut butter. Peanut butter is a legume and it is therefore not part of the hunter-gatherer diet. Um, so we have almond butter. I have cashews. Some uh, banana chips that I'll be using. Uh, I'll be throwing in some um, dried blueberries and also some wheat germ uh, that is keeping with my last last deal so uh, also honey will be used so there's the honey all right and that can be used you can dry out the bars do that kind of thing um, I have another video on the on the peanut butter ones I believe but I'm going to give this a go I'm eliminating the dried milk because uh, actually, I don't have any. I thought I did. So I want to have all this ready to leave tomorrow without going to the grocery store. Um, here's my little bottle of ghee that I'm taking. In the last video, I made the video of making that. But anyway, so this is what I'm going to use. And um, uh, you know, pay no attention to the Snickers. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned. Okay, we're going to add in some cashews, about a quarter cup. I'm going to do about a cup of banana chips. Put these in. I'm going to put in some blueberries. Chop those up too, they're supposed to be dry. Mm. Smell good. A cup of oatmeal. These are approximate amounts. We're just kind of going with the flow. So there we go. See how this, how much noise this makes. Looks pretty good. Things chopped up pretty decent. Mmm. Nanners. Alright, what we're going to add to this is about a half a cup of honey. Still too slow. Let's do it this way. There we go. 
energy and adhesiveness. Take our almond butter. It's about 12 ounces. A cup is 8 ounces, so we're going to take about two thirds of this. Almond butter has no substitution of soy. diehards on the paleo and tell you you should not have uh, honey but honey was certainly available to ancient folks or ancestors Okay, we'll take a little more. <laughs> there we go. I forgot to add the wheat germ on camera, so I just added it on the way over to mix at the table. So I've just got to mix all this together. Try to get some cohesion going. I don't remember how I mixed this last time. I don't remember if I mixed it in a mixing bowl or what. This might take some doings here. Now ideally I would take this and dehydrate it in the dehydrator. Um, however, I'm not going to do that because it will be eaten over the next couple of days and it will not spoil during that time. So this will be packed up in a, a uh, couple of Ziploc bags or uh, um, little glad Tupperware little things. Depends on how I feel like doing it. So we have that. Uh, I used about half the honey that I normally would have. Uh, there's only half a cup in here, thereabouts, maybe a little less. It's a little more on the other side of uh, with the almond butter. And there's also a uh, little addition with the cashews, blueberries, and these are wild blueberries. These are not garden cultivated. These are wild organic blueberries, so supposedly. But I guess it really doesn't matter. I'm not a big fan of blueberries, but I thought it should probably have something nutritious in it. Um, there is no soy in any of this. And that's the big thing. Nothing refined, no added dextrose or any of that. I was going to look at getting some dates just to kind of pep it up a little bit. It'll sweeten it just maybe just a touch. Substitute it instead of the honey, but the only dates I could find, they added dextrose to it. So they're naturally sweet anyway. So I don't know why they did that. But. Anyway, so there's our our stuff, my stuff. Wow, that's pretty good. <laughs> Well, there it is. This is the second take on um, my energy bars. That actually has come out pretty daggum good. <laughs>